Okay, so the Atlas 2.0 is back down and uh, is about to be pulled apart. I just wanted to go over a couple of little things, which let's go ahead and let's grab the missing vein. I've left that sitting over here. Has to go cart to the carpet in our yard. And now, of course, the biggest, you know, issue this thing had with staying together was that Tessup does not include correct hardware. And that's what resulted in this particular failure here is since there was no lock washers holding this all together, it all came apart. I actually broke a, did it break the arm off? I can't remember. No, it didn't break, it didn't break the arm off. They're just, they're just cut like that poorly. Um, it did break the vein off. It just uh, sheared it up here. This is one of the things like uh, all of these, all the nuts and washers up here stayed nice and tight. It lost both of those. I think it probably broke one of them. But you can see where it was rubbing around for a while before. They come loose it just rattles around on that and it's all because there's nothing retaining the nuts and bolts and now yes I could have gone to the store and assembled this thing with proper nuts and bolts and washers to where it wouldn't come apart like this but I kind of feel like if your turbine needs that in order to stay up in the air, it needs to be included with the turbine. Uh, they didn't include it, so I didn't put it up. I didn't go through that effort. And it's not just the moving parts that we're losing nuts and bolts and stuff. It's even some of the screws that hold the casing together. And yeah, it's missing. That one, that one. So, I mean, those aren't even load bearing pieces. And uh, let's see, what else? And also, I don't know if that's going to show up very well. Lots of movement on the shaft itself because, well, this thing loosened up. I bet. Yeah, it ain't hardly got any any bite on it at all. Let's get to the one on the other side. Yep. Sorry if there's a bunch of wind noise. come out now nah, that key that one's almost all the way out that one is all the way out and it's still not wanting to let go Okay, I might have to employ a little bit of violence here. Hush, Bruno.
nice chewed up ring around that. I can hear the thing resonating and humming inside, so I mean, a generator is at least still functional, even though it's not particularly good for what we're doing. And now I wanted to point this out, is, you know, if, if this hadn't been an issue, then I would have maybe gone and got better hardware. But it, and it's the same way on the bottom. Both of these plates, the one up here and one up here, or one down there and one up here, these are both cut out by hand from templates. So someone's just using a jig and drilling these holes by hand and they're not, they're not in the right places. Uh, I tried rotating this a couple of different ways to see if I could get it to line up with that one down there. And I've been getting, I, I can get the holes to line up between the top and the, and the bottom. But if you get the holes to line up, the spars, they don't, they don't balance out. One of them is way closer to the others than, uh, than the other two. Like, you can't balance it. Uh, not without probably reaming out all the holes and then hoping things don't wiggle as it vibrates. But, I think that ultimately I wouldn't have been able to see anything like what Tessup says that we'd be able to see. The veins are just not big enough to generate that kind of wattage, even if they could stay together. But I do have an idea, and I'm going to play with it at some point. I'm going to uh, either try to modify these. These are steel. So I could just get rid of the hardware and weld spars to it and try a more traditional set of veins. But anyway, this thing is coming down. It's already down. And probably tomorrow afternoon, the Missouri turbine is going to be up on that pole. Little update, probably the last video about the Tessup in this configuration because it's just <laughs> nothing that Tessup sent is going to work the way they sent it. Oh, we might play with it in the future. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Good night.